Welcome back, everybody. It is time to get into the Halloween season, and there's no better way to start getting into it with a classic McDonald's toy from back in the day, Go-Go's Crazy Bones, the McDonald's toy release. These guys are awesome. There's 12 different packs that we're gonna be going through and looking at. They got the classic OG series Go-Go's, and then they also have exclusive Halloween ones that came in these packs. So these are gonna be a ton of fun and completely on brand for the Halloween stuff. Now we've got more Halloween videos coming up next week too, and you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna be doing a teaser and showing off what we're gonna be doing in next Sunday's video. Go Ghost, Crazy Bones, Ghosts. That's gonna be a ton of fun, and we have a ton of these packs, but stay to the end and I'll open up one of these to give you guys a little taste. Back to the toys, these things are a blast to go to. There's lots of different variations of colors and things, including gold ones, glow in the dark, so you know we're gonna be looking for like gold eggies. I already got a glow in the dark last time. If we get another one, that'd be amazing because it's super cool, but there's just a ton of stuff to be found in these things. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. But let's get into it here with these amazing McDonald products. You know, the classic days. You guys remember these bags? These things are absolutely amazing. These classic, like, thick plastic bags with the classic logo. How many times am I going to say classic in this video? We shall see. All right, who's going to be first? I think we're going to go in order, uh, starting with, here it is, number one. We got Funny Bone and Howler, some really nice figures as well. And then I think we'll jump through, and then we're going to skip number four, because that's Eggy and Punky, and you know we got to save the best one for last. We're going to clear these out really quick. All right, starting with number one, let's open up this bad boy and see our Howler and our, who else is in here again? Funny Bone. Funny Bone is the original character, and Howler is our little Wolfman of the day. I can't remember if there was an easy way. There was a tear tab on these things, but it doesn't seem to really want to open up. Oh, I see. Okay, we, we're in. We're in. We're getting in. We're going to try to reveal these one at a time. Let's pull up the stickers first. Or these aren't stickers, are they? No, they're just little cards. So we got a scraps card. They don't always match what you get in the pack. So scraps, did we get one more? I thought we did, maybe not. Okay, first ones first. Let's see, it's Howler in the classic Halloween orange looking cool. And you can see I already have him up there. So we got our first duplicate. That's okay, Howler is pretty cool. He's not my like favorite of the bunch, but that's okay. We'll just add him right up there. We will see what our little funny bone is. A awesome looking like dark green with a little splash of like the toothpaste, if you can see that. A little pink sprinkled throughout. Not super great on the little tie-dyed nature of it. These, I don't know if they like, it feels like the tie-dyed fades because I haven't seen like a really good tie-dyed one in a while. Really good like toothpaste combination color. They all seem to like, I don't know if it fades because of its oldness, but you only get little hints of those pinks in there. And I'm just wondering if they looked different before. On to number two, we have got Sweetie and Webs. Sweetie and Webs. Sweetie, uh, I really dislike Sweetie. Not my favorite out of the original crew. So I'm hoping, you know, we don't get a gold. And I think I already did get a gold of Sweetie, which is funny. But we got Smiley as our card. And then let's see who we're just going to grab first. Sweetie. Sweetie in the classic pink color. I have so many of like this color in the just regular versions of these guys too, which is pretty funny, uh, but it's nothing too crazy. It almost looks more metallic-y, which is funny, but nothing insane there. Let's pull out webs. This is our little spider of the crew. What is this? Oh yeah, we get these little, <laughs> oh, there's little coupons. Let's see if I won anything. Let's see if I got a free hamburger or something. What did I get? Nothing? What's the biggest animal in the world? Just fun facts? I thought we had, like, coupons in here. Uh, I guess it was just a giveaway for a scholarship. I didn't even, like, read the sticker, but nothing, nothing crazy in there, and no little coupon for a free meal. So, let's see, Webs. Ooh. Ooh. This color is interesting. It kind of just looks, like, dirty, like he just got dumped in some mud. Like, it was this orange color, and then he dumped him in mud but I've never seen this color before. That is really, really weird. It's like a black and orange. I kind of like it, but it almost looked like dull. It's less orange and more like a brownish, uh, but still pretty neat. I do dig it. I do dig how that black and orange work together. Of course, that's a great combo for Halloween colors. 
I almost wish she just didn't look super dirty, but there we go. There's webs. All right, we got number three, which is Cool Dude and Haggy. Cool Dude is a classic. Haggy, I believe, is that the Scarecrow? Oh no, it's the Hag, duh. It's the witch one that is just sitting right in front of my face. The Hag, the witch. Haggy, Smaggy. Let's see what we got. Uh, and, oh, okay, wait, wait. This card's in plastic. I don't know why some of them are and some of them aren't. It seems very sporadic, and I'm not sure why they do that. Rascal, he's awesome. I love this one. I love this character. I got him in this really sweet, like, bone white last time. Uh, but, yeah, plastic in that one, but not all the rest. So let's see our first one here. Cool dude looking with that big grin in the big dark green color which i think i prefer the, like the lime green on these guys it just kind of goes with the more of like the slime halloween vibes but this green is fine there's nothing too crazy with it let's see haggy haggy is that banger purple though that lockdown purple you gotta love that haggy's a good one they designed this one well i would have loved to have seen uh, these guys, the designs get down into their own special, like little set. That would have been really cool. I would have liked to see them shrunk into the smaller ones because I think these guys, their designs are, they really thought these designs through. I know it's just like a spider, a wolf man, a witch, but it, you know, they have that really nice go-go's feel. And I thought, I think they just did a really good job with these. Okay. So we're done with three. Here's four, but of course, you know, we're not touching that. That's our eggy boy. We're going to save him. So we're going to jump over to five, which five is Menace and Boo. Two very good figures. I love Menace and Boo is awesome. Boo, I think I have sitting up here somewhere in a nice translucent. There's also translucent. If I can pull a translucent somewhere in here, that would be amazing as well. Let's see the card. Let's sneak the card out. We got Haggy. There we go. Now, oh, interesting. So this actually has Spanish on it too. These don't. So did I get like two different like regions, like regions of where they were producing the McDonald's? So I got one closer to an area that would require putting some Spanish for Spanish speaking people. Interesting. I don't know how many of those I actually have with the Spanish on. I haven't really seen that before. Let's pull out Menace in that awesome, awesome blue and pink toothpaste. -y. Again, it's almost like it faded. It's weird. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but you can see just that very, very vague pink on it. A little bit more on the back here. Menace is one of my, my personal faves from the OG series. He's just so cool. Such a good figure. The best one for the flicking game, in my opinion. If you're playing with the OG set, he's just a really cool figure. Can't complain about Menace ever. He's super dope. But now we will get out Boo. Crossing my fingers for a good Boo. Ba-bang! Oh, it's our weird mashup mismatch colors again with that orange and black, just like our web over here. How interesting. He's such a cool figure, though. I love his design, too. Of course, you guys know that's uh, that's why we're going into the ghost packs, because Go Ghost Crazy Bones, they just do such a great job with designing, like, ghost characters. They're so cool. Uh, but this one's great. It's a little bit better with the overall pattern that the black is going on it you can't see it up in the top it's more on the front than in the back actually which so that's good i feel like that's a nice little if you're a pokemon person it'd be like got the swirls in there got the nice little swirls of holographic this isn't no holographic thing though but it does have some nice looks with that like kind of toothpastey color variant okay already on to number six which we got goody goody and tut goody goody is not good for me. I don't, I'm not a fan of Goody Goody, but Tut is cool. Looks like this one was already cracking open a little bit. So let's see. I hope people weren't trying to peek inside to see if they got gold or not. And then tried to seal it up. That would suck. Punky. Uh, my last one I got golden. I think I bought it from the same seller. So I don't think I should have any issues with these. But this one did have a little bit of a hole right on the top part. So let's pull out Tut in a nice purple. Nice classic Halloween purple. There's that classic again. Tut's cool. Tut's really cool. He's even got like a little spider on his cheek, which is so funny. 
but Tut's a great character, super cool figure. Let's throw him up here, start sliding these over, and then we'll pull out Goody Goody. Ba bang, Goody Goody in a very, very vibrant yellow, almost that kind of metallic -y yellow, which man, I do not know if I have any others in that color. I have my box on the ground over there. I don't think I do. I don't think I have any in this like super bright sun yellow. That's interesting. Okay. A good little color, actually. So different than one of the, some of the ones we've been getting so far. A lot of darker colors. Number seven, though. We got Chef and Drac. Chef and Drac. Drac is a cool one. Chef, he's classic. You gotta love Chef. All right, is this one gonna open for me, though? Doesn't want to, really. Let's try that method. There we go. All right, now we're in. Let's see what we got. We got another card that's wrapped in plastic. Again, don't really get why some are, some aren't. It's so bizarre. Let's pull out Drac. Drac in a glow in the dark. Let's go. Looking sick. I actually, I don't know if that's in camera, but I have one right here that's a glow in the dark Drac. So we have another duplicate, another same color duplicate of Drax, which he's cool though. I do like him. I kind of hope we get more glow in the dark because... I have a lot of duplicates, it feels like. I don't know the variety and how many they made of each of these, but look at this. For Chef, this isn't even, this is a darker green than the ones we've been getting. A stark darkness, actually. Like, I really wonder how many color variants there were for these Go Go's, because there's so many. Every time I open these, I get another random color, like that yellow or this dark, dark, dark green, which is crazy. It's Chef, though, you know. Chef is chef. There's nothing crazy with him going on. That's seven. That was seven. Now we're on eight. We got Wow and Rascal. Ooh, buddy, Rascal. Let's go. Let's go. Give me a gold Rascal. Would be sweet. I'll take a gold Rascal. He's he's one I definitely wouldn't mind having in a a nice little. So whoa whoa. Okay. All right. We don't want to reveal yet. Fangs in a plastic. All right, let's pull out who we got here. What was, who was this other one again? I forget. Wow. Oh, that's right. Wow. Wow. In a very nice purple. Again, a little bit of a different purple than this one. If you can see, this one's kind of more like that sharper metal-y purple. I don't know, like a royal purple. And this one's just purple purple. It's interesting, but a cool, a cool purple. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You know, I like the color purple. So we got wow looking pretty good, but now we've got rascal in a dark black oh man look at how sick he looks that is cool man oh man let's bring him over here a little bit so you can kind of see is that any better nah it doesn't really matter we'll keep him in the center of the screen that is really good though a nice rascal and i don't believe i have the black version of him either so that's really sharp number nine music and scraps oh and this one opens so cleanly Plastic wrapped, punky. We've gotten a few of that one now. Let's check out. Ooh, a glitter music. That is sweet. When's the last time I got a glitter one? I don't even know. Music, I feel like in the original series, I would always get her in a glitter, but not in the McDonald's ones. How interesting. How nice looking too. These are really cool to look at to see inside and stuff because they're like split down the sides here and you can kind of just see how they built it it just makes for a really unique looking translucent figure because it's not uh it's hollow on the inside it's not all the way through so that is really neat though good one with that and we've got scraps Ooh, scraps in a vibrant vibrant halloween orange do I have scraps up here somewhere? I do. I've got them in a purple, that kind of metallic -y purple. So now we got them in a nice orange. This orange is really, really shiny. Really cool. Clean figure. Again, another figure that I would just love to have in the small sizes too, because they did such a great job with this Scarecrow guy. He is such a cool one. Scraps, you're one of my faves from this set. Really nice. We are on number 10. Didn't we open this already? No. Oh, we opened Menace. Yes. Okay. We got Thangs, which is our little bat boy up here. All right. Let's see it. Pull out this. We got a Rascal. Little Rascal one. Let's get out Speedy first. Speedy. Ba-bang. 
Look at, see that one streak of pink and that's it. That's it. It's a nice gray. This would have looked so cool if the colors aren't fading. I really think they're fading. You guys let me know in the comments. Do these colors fade out over time? Is that what we're seeing happening here? Why is there just one streak of pink in all of these guys? It's crazy. It definitely feels like it should be more swirled in and somehow the paint is just disappearing over time. But Speedy's great too, along with Menace. They're just an awesome figure to play with. And then we got a glow in the dark fangs. Let's go check him out. He looks sweet. That is an awesome figure. Fangs, again, such a nice job. What other crazy bone has wings? I, don't, I can't think of any that would have wings outside. Uh, I, I can think of a couple from like the Nitsu ones, the Ninja ones. They have a couple, but that's not official Go-Go stuff. Official Go-Go stuff, I think Fangs is the only one with wings. It's so cool. That's such a neat one. And another glow in the dark to go with Drac. So it's kind of a perfect pairing of glow in the dark figures, in my opinion. All right, we've got number 11 hiding under here. Let's see it. We've got Top Hat and Doc. Top Hat and Doc. Hoo ah, Doc is a cool one. I've gotten him in a nice metal before. I have him in a nice silver. He looks amazing in a silver. And we've got Wow. Wow, sitting pretty. Looking cool. Who do we got here? We've got Brainy. Was that, no, it's Doc. I keep calling, I keep thinking his name is Brainy. His hair looks like a brain, so that's why I keep thinking that. But no, this is Doc. A cool one in the nice black. So not a silver figure. And we haven't come across one yet, which is crazy, actually. So let's pull out Top Hat. Again, in that weird, dark, dark, dark green. Not bad figure, though. This is the one that it's like the same figure. It's like the same thing. Top Hat and Chef, they're both wearing uh, very similar hats. All right, we are on the final 12th one you could get from the McDonald's set. Smiley and Lucky. Lucky is the cat, the black cat, and Smiley is Smiley from the original. So number 12, and then we're diving in to open up that eggy one. I cannot wait. I'm just hoping we get like one, one metal figure. That'd be awesome. We got a dock card, which we haven't gotten yet. Looking good, looking good. And let's pull out, ooh, oh. Ooh, a translucent glitter Lucky. That is so cool. Just like the music one. Same exact tone and color and sprinkles of sparkles. The nice gold glitter inside. That is cool. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we've gotten some really nice glitter ones today at least, even if we're not pulling these metals. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at you, Smiley, in that nice bright yellow. That's a good one to get in yellow, I feel like. Smiley, that fits his vibe. That's, that fits his vibe, I like that a lot. A nice, nice bright yellow. Number two in the series, if you can see that. And I don't know, I forget how many are in the series. I'll have to put it up on screen how many were complete in the series. I guess I could do the math here, right? 24? 24. 12 pack, two each. No hidden figures. It was just you got what you got. The names were on the packs themselves, so. But now we come down to the last one, number four, Eggy and Punky. Eggy and Punky, man. These are great. I don't know if we got a gold or metal in here. Sometimes they would wrap, sometimes, they would wrap the gold or metal ones in the pack inside their own separate bag so they wouldn't get dinged around. I'm not feeling a bag. Now I've gotten them before where they didn't come in bags. So it's not completely out of the question, but a lot of the time I would say they do come in bags. So here we go. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this so far. Let's open up Eggy and Punky for our final one here. Oh, let's see it. Ooh, that opened nice. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and sometimes it would trip you up too because you get these cards that are in the plastic, but not the figures themselves. So try not to reveal anything. We got Smiley in the plastic, just the card. And we're going to save Eggy for last. So let me sneak pack past Eggy here. Where? Come on. Why can't I? Oh, Punky, come on out. Punky in the orange, 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 this is orange. No, this is purple, a purple, purple Punky. 
I love Punky, man. He's such a good one, too. A great looking pumpkin. And now it can go along. I've got a lot of them, actually. I think I've got like five of the punkies. I've got two doubles of the white. So I think this is a good addition because I don't have, I don't think I have the purple of punky. But finally, let's get out the eggy. Y'all ready? Whoa, bam. Ooh. Ooh, that is a cool color. It's like this maroon, red, purple. Again. It's not like straight up pink like this one. That's so interesting. Wow. I love Eggy, dude. I cannot wait to open up some of my other OG classic set because I want to pull some awesome looking Eggies. He's so fun to get. But man, this is such a... Man, I don't think I have any of these other like mar this maroon color. It's so interesting that we got this. So many new colors today. And I wonder if... The colors change based on uh, region that you were in, potentially. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it might be. But there he is. Nice looking eggy. Put him down here with everybody else. Here's all of them from the set, plus a couple extras that I already had. But that is just so much fun. I love picking these up on eBay when they're a decent price because they're just a blast to open up, man. Especially when you can get the whole set and get all the figures all at once and just try to find a nice gold one. No gold today, though. No metals, no silvers unfortunately. Don't know what happened there. I guess I opened them all in my last video. If you hadn't seen that one, go check out last year's video of that too. But before you leave, let's do that little teaser of the GoGo's Ghost Crazy Bones. Now, this set's really unique and interesting. Some other stuff that go along with it that I will explain in next Sunday's video. So you're going to want to subscribe and come back for that. But let's open this up so you can get a taste of what we will be finding here. Let's get out the nice stickers. These come all the way from Italy that were shipped to me here. So we do get other sets in these. Again, I'll go into it. I'll go into it in the video. Let's see if we can pull out a couple figures though. But bang, look at that one. A nice, nice jelly figure. That's so cool. Oh, I forget your name though. That's a bummer. All right, who else we got in here? Trying to fish around. Oh, there's our ghost. There's our ghost of the pack. That is so sick. He's a weird looking one. He's got like a hunchback ghost. Oh my gosh. He's like hunchback of the ghost of Notre Dame or something like that. A classic figure there as well. I believe from Buddies. And what do we got in this one? Oh, we got two ghosts in this one. Well, psh, that was a great teaser for you guys because you don't always get two ghosts in one of these pack. That's actually pretty, pretty rare to, to get like that. I don't remember opening a lot of packs. I had two each last time. So that is an awesome looking glitter, a clear glitter ghost. He's got like big pudgy cheeks. I don't know if you can see that, but that's, that's amazing. And I can't wait to get into those packs with you guys next Sunday. So stay tuned next Sunday, 12 p.m. EST. We're going into the finale of the Halloween season the day before with some Go Go's Ghosts. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and we will see you guys in the next video.